I'm at the house at 922 Trilby in the Bella Vista subdivision. I'm going to give you a 360 for the neighborhood here. This subdivision is on off of Petranco Road just outside 1604. So it's close to Citibank, Sea Road, 151 and Lackland Air Force Base. This subdivision also has a community pool with a wading pool and a fountain and a playground. The uh, elementary school is just outside the sub subdivision and the middle school is being built just around the corner. This house was built in 2011. I'm going to give you a look inside. This is a three bedroom, two and a half bath. Square footage is roughly 1,690 square feet. The entry here we have uh, a porch area, some flowers. Give you a look here on the corner. So you can have a little sitting area here. The entry here we have ceramic tile. Let me just give you a heads up of what the uh, layout's going to be here. We got the living room. Uh, back to the left we got the kitchen. Uh, upstairs are the bedrooms. We're going to give you a look first to start with uh, right outside the entry we got the half bath. So you got a half bathroom. Pretty open floor plan. We have uh, light gray carpets here, so it should be easy to maintain. Got your living room. You got ceiling fans throughout the house and neutral colors. So match anybody's furniture. We got the dining area here. Also got the Open kitchen, recessed lighting. I'm gonna turn around here so you can get a look at look at the living room again from a little bit of different perspective. It's a good size area here, and again, nice recessed lighting. Here we have the eating area and the kitchen. We have. Uh, South stone countertops got kind of extended here if you see where my hands at it extends here so you can put some stools use this as a breakfast bar a nice tile backsplash a South stone countertops throughout very nice uh, the flat top stove has dual ovens you can see there's two separate ovens there lots of cabinet space Some more cabinets here. And we have a nice uh, deep stainless steel sink. We have the uh, filtered drinking uh, faucet there. Filtered water dispenser. Dishwasher stove and fridge. Stays with the property. All you would need is your own washer and dryer. And nice tile floors. The door straight ahead goes to the garage. Pretty typical two car garage has a water softener and automatic garage door opener. Here's the pantry area. Good amount of storage space. And also under the stairs, also got a nice deep storage area too. This is also tiled. So easy to clean up and maintain this area in the kitchen. Let's go out here to the backyard. You got a fenced backyard. And you have uh, nice trees. Covered, uh, you have a, not uncovered, but it looks like it has some good shade here. As, as you can see, natural shade during the daytime, in the afternoon. So you can set up your barbecue grill out here. Some nice shade there from the mature trees. Good size yard, and it is fenced. Also, as I forgot to mention, this street is um, a low traffic street because there is no through street. In other words, it's kind of like a U-shape. So you come in, if you're coming to this house or this area, um, you're not gonna be using this as a shortcut somewhere else. 
Gonna head upstairs. At the top of the stairs here, we have a small loft area. You could put a desk, maybe use this as a small uh, office or computer area. Uh, you have, to the left we have two bedrooms and to the right we have the bedroom, master bedroom and utility room. We're gonna start here at the second bedroom. First bedroom being the masters. We have ceiling fans in all the bedrooms. Helps on your cooling costs. Also going to take a look here. Got a good size walk-in closet, which is nice for a secondary bedroom. This is bedroom number three. Again, neutral colors in all the bedrooms. Ceiling fan. And then you also have your closet space there. Here's the AC and water heater is up here. And then we have an upstairs utility room, which is great uh, for avoiding having to wash your clothes and then fold them and carry them back upstairs. Your clothes are always upstairs, easy to, easy to deal with. Got some cabinets here. So it's a good size utility room. And then we have the uh, hallway bathroom. Got an area here you can put a chair if you want to sit at the counter. Extra counter space. Toilet and you got the shower and tub combination there. Then here we have the masters. It's a good size masters bedroom. We could definitely fit a king size bed and put some nightstands in. Uh, we have room for dressers, getting a ceiling fan. We have here um, a nice size walk-in closet. It's about 12 feet deep by about five feet across. So you got a lot of space here. And also you have two windows, which it's the first time I've seen two windows in a closet, so that's pretty pretty neat. Got some natural lighting here. And then we have the master's bathroom. Dual sinks. It's a pretty wide area here, so it's not like a like a narrow corridor here for the masters. You got the separate shower and you got a nice size deep garden tub. Perfect for relaxing in the afternoons or evenings. Separate shower there. And then last thing I'm gonna show you is the backyard from upstairs. It's an unusual lot to have uh, this many trees, which is pretty cool. So in addition to your fence yard, you got some nice amount of trees. And let's see if I can angle it down. There you go, there is your uh, patio. Nice trees there, nice fenced yard. If you'd like more information about this home or would like to schedule a showing, my name is Mark Fee. My cell number is 210-618-9161. Or you can call the office at Liberty Management at 210-681-8080. Thank you.